So big picture, we're going to be talking about China making all these strategic partnerships around the world with a bunch of different countries. They have fantastic wild names. These these because there's like because there's different levels. Right. It's like it's like you know. Bronze, like a bronze star in school and a silver star and a gold star. Yeah, just with like way more adjectives. <laughs> and way more levels. And way, uh, way more levels too. Like do, do you have a, a list of what these we, – these? Yeah, just give me one second. Because I, I forget what mine exactly was with, with China. You want to know <laughs> how – like where are you compared to like North Korea yeah, and Russia? Yeah, I think like, I'm you... the number one love you long time uh, partner. Okay, so just to be clear, uh -huh. if you represent the United States, there is no official relationship title. Okay. I don't think Chris represents the United States. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm out for myself. <laughs> I, don't, yes. I don't think the State Department would think that you represented the United States, Chris. No. At least not until Chris becomes like supreme leader for life of these United and States. And then there's bigger problem. Yeah. Oh, so she is going to adopt you? Like, you know, patronage thing. As long as he doesn't kill you, you're good, right? I, I mean, that's my definition of good, not getting killed <laughs> All right, so, by uh, communists. All right, so we'll go from the top because, you know, you know Putin and Xi are the best buddies, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So the Russian one is called Comprehensive Strategic Partnership of Coordination for the New Era. Oh, hey, what is that new era? Should I should I be worried about that living in this old era? No, it's, it's the new world order, right? Run by China and, and Russia. But you just said you signed an exclusive agreement, so you're good. But it didn't have New Era in it. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's, it's explicitly said this does not include the New Era. Well, this is the point of what I'm going to talk about is these words matter. So since you're not in the— Which is interesting because it sounds like gobbledygook. It does. It really just sounds like, like the super, somebody was super looking up friendship. in a thesaurus and just yeah. like started stringing words but that sounded together. This is the thing about communism. It often uses like language that like normal people are like, this is just what you're insane. But it means something, and it has power. So okay. please go on. The next one is the all-weather strategic co co cooperative partnership. That's with Pakistan. Pakistan okay, so is number two. All-weather is not as good as coordination. Right. And it, or Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, but the, uh, also the, one, uh, the, the third one, which is with 18 countries, is comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership that's one step below pakistan so, so there'll be a test that, there'll be a test afterwards you have to distinguish which one is which <laughs> comprehensive strategic cooperation no, cooperative. 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 cooperative partnership right um so for example germany has the all-round strategic partnership which is different than all weather <laughs> all we're, we are an all-round partner Ireland has the Strategic Partnership for Mutually Beneficial Cooperation. Ireland has a, this relationship with China? Of course. Everybody has. Most countries well, in the world have. America doesn't, but the Irish do. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Well. What does the UK have? Uh, the UK has the Global Comprehensive Strategic Partnership for the 21st Century. Now, when it becomes the 22nd century. Renegotiation time. <laughs> when does the new era start? I think... It has. In two, the, 2012. Oh, yeah, it, it has. <laughs> ah, ooh. And of course, at the bottom of the list, besides the United States, is Israel with just the innovative, comprehensive partnership. Innovative means that the main relationship is that China steals Israeli technological innovation. Right. Okay. Uh, innovative, comprehensive. Okay. So, is everything uh, comprehensive? No. no. Sw Switzerland is above Israel. Israel. It's got the innovative, strategic partnership as okay. opposed to the innovative comprehensive partnership. Wait, did you mention North Korea? You're making this up, aren't you? You're just, you're just <laughs> pulling something up. Now, North Korea is not part of these partnership categories. It actually has an alliance, a true alliance. It's the only country in the world that China has um, an actual alliance that if one, uh, if somebody attacks- North China, then North Korea will come to China's rescue. Absolutely. Well, in a sense, that's what they're doing with Russia, right? They're both yeah. helping Russia which is an ally of both of them. I mean, without... Right. Well, I mean, if, if we do go to war with China, then it, North Korea can actually be more aggressive than China, and then they can blame it on North Korea, right? Right, or they can keep, keep our forces in South Korea busy and, oh, yeah. and, and not be able to support, let's say, an invasion of Taiwan. When it says all weather, does that include nuclear winter? Um, probably. I mean, wow. 
Uh, although that might affect, might be helpful for climate change because, you know, it's too hot. So that'll make it cold. Uh... What I'm upset about is, well, number one, that America is dead last. Uh, we're number one. So this is. But I mean, I don't think America's on the, America's not on the list. We're not on the list. Yeah. I mean, so that's like, you know. So, so we're number one for being last. Thank you. Uh, but also, like, like what? The, like the UK? Like all of these countries? Wait, like, does France have one? Does yes. Iran like these are, have these, something? These are like our allies. Like, wh oh, yeah. why? Oh, that's true. I was actually is, curious about Iran because it seems like, so it seems like it's North Korea, then Russia, then Pakistan. Is Iran oh, like yeah, rounding out the top five or something? Is that one something? of those 18? Uh, I'll have to get, get, get okay. that back to you because I don't have it, all, the, all 160 okay. countries listed here. Come on. Come on. But Iran, but Iran has signed uh, two years ago, three years ago, a 25-year agreement worth $400 billion for, for sharing technologies on defense, intelligence, all kinds of things. So they have like a, an agreement. I don't know if it's, it has one of these categories. It's a new comprehensive strategic weather, sunny day. <laughs> so you said these these words actually have meaning. Like what is yeah. what is what is China doing? Because this sounds like nonsense. And like right. from like the United States perspective, like we would think, you know, the UK, the US, I mean, there's deep seated animosity between the two countries because they desperately want to take us over again. I know this. But like what is what what what, what does this mean? Okay, so the title uh, is one thing, but the content is more, uh, explains more about what, what it's all about. And what I focused on in my research is on what they say about Taiwan. Okay. Okay. And so um, all these agreements have a Taiwan clause, you know, like when you sign a contract, there's a clause for something. Uh, but this, they all have a Taiwan clause and they all have something to do with the country that China signs an agreement with, uh, uh, respects their core interests, i.e., uh, all the land that they've taken from Tibet, Inner Mongolia, Hong Kong, etc., and that they uh, usually only have a, a phrase about a, a commitment to one China policy and support for China's peaceful reunification. But that's been changing. There's a new phrase that's been coming up uh, more and more. Uh, so that was the one from uh, Indonesia uh, that I was referring to. Okay. Um, so now... Uh, like the Solomon Islands, you guys covered that extensively last year, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and, uh, and, and uh, of course, uh, Sudani and, and all that, all the story about that. But this, the one that was signed uh, last year uh, talks about that Taiwan is an in inalienable part of China's territory that opposes Taiwan independence in all forms. Um, and that if it firmly supports all efforts made by the Chinese government to realize national reunification and supports China's position on issues related to Hong Kong, Xinjiang, Tibet, and opposes interference by any country. So this is the, now they're putting in all the territories that China stole over the last 70 years into the document. And then later on, uh, what we find is, is that now they're changing the word Tibet to, how do you pronounce it, Shelley? Xizhang. Xizhang. Uh, so they've, they've dropped the word Tibet in the language. So they're, they're signifying the the terminology of the of the region right but that also because there's still this legacy of the idea of free tibet and people f remember tibet as once being an independent country which obviously it was in the early 20th century and before then when you call it something else it just doesn't feel like tibet anymore well i yeah. think also you can see that they had a lot of success with xinjiang right right because people wanted to call it east turkestan but like even in Western media, it's always Xinjiang because of uh, kind of historical reasons. So people say Tibet, but they say Xinjiang. So Xinjiang sounds like it belongs to China. And for a long time, because the human rights groups were trying to use East Turkestan, then uh, the CCP had a monopoly on if you search for Xinjiang on YouTube, for example. Remember, mm. we did an episode about this a few years ago. It was all CCP propaganda essentially, like they could corner the market. So I think that's also part of like what they're doing with Xizong now. Nobody else refers to it as Xizong, but they're, so then they can kind of like own that space. Okay, I guess it's similar to South China Sea mm -hmm. in a way. Like it's, like if, you can try and call it the West Philippine Sea right. or part of it, but. 
But you know that in Chinese, it's just the South Sea or the East Sea. Mm -hmm. There's no China in it. When we translated it, we gave them a gift. We call it oh, the South China Sea or the East China Sea. They don't say it that way. And of course, you know that I prefer to call it the Southeast Asian Sea because that includes the, the East Vietnamese Sea mm -hmm. and the West Philippine Sea or the Northern uh, Sea of Indonesia and all these other countries that surround that region. So if you say Southeast Asian Sea, see, I want to put a copyright on this, but I can't, you know, it's because somebody else said it before me. <clears throat> Not just pull Edison. Um, 